seventh day God ended His work, His work which He had made, and He rested on the seventh day from all His work, His work which He had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it He had rested from all His work which God. He had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created. Good morning, everyone. My name is Benjamin Street. I'm 12 years old, and today I will be delivering a devotional titled Who Will Respond? Let us pray. Our Father, what in heaven, Lord, we thank you for bringing us through safely. Please guide us and protect us and help us to recognize and be thankful for all the individuals that go unnoticed. The heroes, not the ones from cartoons or movies, but for real heroes that go unnoticed in our lives. Please forgive us of our sins, guide us and protect us throughout the day. Lord, we thank you for being grateful unto us. We thank you for answering our needs and we ask you for guidance in jesus name i pray amen the memory first for today is from john fifteen thirteen. greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends on september 11th 2001 the world watched in horror as tragedy unfolded in New York City. Though I was just a six-year-old in Kenya then, I remember the scream I heard from the house while playing outside. The images on the TV screen displayed the towers crumbling, while a remarkable group of individuals rushed towards the chaos, the first responders. These brave souls often go unnoticed and demonstrate a profound love that defies danger and adversity. In moments of danger, it's natural instinct for most to seek safety, to move away from harm's way. Yet in the midst of a catastrophe, there are those who courageously move towards the epicenter of a crisis, not for fame or for recognition, but with an unwavering commitment to save lives. Firefighters, emergency personnel, police officers and military personnel, collectively known as the first responders, venture into places where others dare not tread. Their mission? To save even just one life. Amid the chaos and danger they confront, first responders need our prayers. Let's make it a consistent practice to lift them up in prayer. Galatians 6 verse 2 encourages us to carry each other's burdens and in this way we will fulfil the law of Christ. Our prayers become a lifeline, providing them with strength and protection as we answer the call of duty. It's crucial to recognise and honour the commitment of the first responders. In doing so, we reflect the love of God. Let us remember Hebrews 6 verse 10. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them.
Expressing our gratitude and acknowledging their sacrifice is a tangible reminder that their efforts do not go unnoticed. Often perceived as the strong pillars of society, first responders are not immune to the toll of the traumatic events that they witness, just as we would check on our strong friends. We must also extend our care to these heroes, encourage them to seek mental health professionals who can help them process the weight of their experiences. Acknowledging their emotional needs offers a space for healing and support. Questions. How can you actively support and appreciate those who selflessly serve your community? Let us pray. Loving God, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for the courage of first responders. Strengthen them in their mission, grant them protection and surround them with your peace. May our support and prayers uplift their spirits. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.